Create automatic income for life immediately. $100,000, $400,000, $600,000 a year, working from anywhere in the world with as much free time as you want. All of the trades you see on the ticker above me were made by traders. Time. I'll take some suggestions here. My best drug story? Oh my God. Okay, I'll tell, I'll tell you. Uh, oh my God, this is fucked up. Get ready for a fucked up story. I, I used to do this in my live shows, but I determined that it just wasn't fucking funny. Um, I'm gonna shut this door. Now, I was so helplessly addicted to cocaine, it was insane. Like, if I ran out, I would call this drug dealer, and uh, if I was waiting for a call from him, I'd be like using my cell phone as a pillow so that when it vibrated, like it would wake me up and be like, oh yeah, I need drugs. Now, if I went to, uh, if I called up the drug dealer and if he didn't answer, I would just fucking show up at his place. I would just go there and be like, ah. When I got to his place, I would, I would try the door. Sometimes it was open and I would just walk in and uh, sometimes it wasn't open and that was upsetting. Um, this guy, okay, this drug dealer wasn't just a drug dealer, he was also like a hardcore addict. And when it came, and I'm talking about cocaine, this guy would inject cocaine, he would shoot up. And for some reason, because I never injected anything, some reason that I just don't understand about people who shoot up cocaine is that with their syringe, they squirt their own blood all over the place. I mean, this guy's apartment, it's, it was all like just on the walls, even the fucking ceiling, the furniture, this motherfucker had just, his, with his syringe, just, just squirt all over the place, blood. So, uh, and, and sometimes when I showed up and I would walk in, I'd find the guy like sitting there with like, with literally needles fucking hanging out. I feel like it was hanging out of his neck one time and he was sitting there and I walked in and he was like, oh, oh, hey, what's up, dude? And he pulled the needle out of his neck. Like, oh, hey, what's up, bro? <laughs> you know, like, uh, fuck, it was gnarly. And, um, you know, I did whatever. I wouldn't judge him. I'd be like, oh yeah, hey man, I'll like, give me some coke. And I would buy like a bunch, you know, like, um, God, fucking always buy like quite a lot. And um, so this one fucking time I showed up, I, his door was not, it wasn't, wasn't locked and it was open. I walked in, it wasn't in the living room. He was in his back bedroom. It was like a guest house kind of a deal. And uh, it wasn't like an apartment, but it was. It was like a guest house. He went like through the back of someone's driveway, and then he was, he was in, in the back. And I walked in, so he's in his bedroom in the back. And like the dude's like, he wasn't dead, obviously, but like, but he was just not responsive. You know, he was so, he had, I guess, been awake for so many days that there's no fucking waking this guy up. And he's like, I'm like trying to wake him up. Yeah, I need, I need fucking drugs, you know, like, and he's just, there's no getting this guy up. So. So fuck, man, like, uh, I just finally was like, okay, fuck, you know, he's just sleeping so heavily, I'm just not gonna get him up. So I went myself into his living room to the table where he would weigh out all of his drugs. And there was, from him weighing so, this guy sold so much fucking drugs that, that on the table itself, there was just like a fucking residue of cocaine, it was just built up and I was looking at it, like I knew that if I took a card that, uh, that I, I could just, I could scrape up like the gnarliest pile of cocaine. I just knew it. I'm just like, I'm just gonna go, I, just, I want drugs. And I'm just fuck, I'm gonna go fucking help myself. I'm gonna go scrape. So now I go and I sit down at the table where, and I'm looking at it, there's co cocaine all over it. But like I said, the motherfucker squirted his own blood everywhere. So it's like cocaine with blood. <laughs> like little like splatters like thin like you know and I'm like fuck this is a terrible idea like there's just this is fucking bad and I'm like and I just start scraping up fucking cocaine I, I'm and like I can like visibly like in the pile I'm scraping like it, I can see specks of blood and I'm I, this is the this is how fucking bad I was addicted Sat there and fucking snorted the motherfucker's blood, dude. What the fuck did I just walk in on? Yeah. I mean, they asked me for my craziest drug story. That was on my... I wanted to ask you that. Well, I well, guess dude, I'll have I to just, watch the video dude, back. I just, dro I just dropped the hammer, I walked dude. In and steve literally said, and I snorted his blood. I snorted the motherfucker's <laughs> blood, dude. Oh, my God.
<laughs> oh my god i'm told i wrote about that story what? in my book you know and i guess like i should say this i go on podcasts all the time i never fucking really promote shit like you, you you're you're right that i've had a fucking crazy life and uh and i have not only a book it's a new york times bestseller and on top of this this is unheard of for a bestseller the average customer rating on amazon for my book is a full five out of five stars there's no partial stars this is wow it's a fucking bona fide full-on five-star new What's york times called? bestseller it's called a professional idiot professional idiot available on, on amazon Perf no no but fuck amazon because oh, I'm not, my, don't I'm, go to amazon on my website i, I, I oh, autographed every website. coffee Oh. I grab every single copy, and like, and, and, and I'll give you five stars. Yeah, and uh, I, I, a lot of people they charge a lot for merch on online. Like, uh, I got signature Stevo sunglasses for eighteen bucks. <laughs> you know? That's actually pretty amazing. That's, That's really I got. I got yeah. T-shirts twenty bucks. You know, That's actually, I got. That is amazing. I have autographed books like twenty-five bucks. For that a fucking is, fully autographed. So what? What is your autograph? Uh, it's stevo.com. So if you guys want some Stevo swag, yeah, that's the place uh, dude, to get fire it. it up, man. Get over there and fire that shit swag. up. Swag. And uh, yeah. So now, like I told, I talked about. There's one element to this drug dealer story that I've never shared because it's fucked up. Mm. It's fucked Let's up. Let's hear it. Now I'm intrigued as hell. <laughs> And the guy is the guy remains anonymous. So I've never like uh, I did not that anybody would know him anyway. Mm -hmm. He's a fucking drug dealer right. from a long time ago. But uh, we both um, got sober, right? Like I got sober first, and then he started showing up like in places where sober people go. Mm. At one point, the guy I saw him at a place where sober people go. I can't believe I'm about to fucking say this. The fucking guy. Uh, he says, hey, man, can I talk to you? And he like, pulls me aside with a fucking private conversation. And he's like, hey, dude, I know that at one point you snorted my blood. I really missed the beginning part of the story, <laughs> but I'll go with you. I'm going to follow you. And it, he's like, like, this was years years after the fact, so who knows when. But he was like, like so fucking, I have to tell you, fucking, he came up HIV positive. Dude. What? He fucking, wasn't fucking with you. No, dude. What the fuck? How did you feel at that? Well, I, I, I didn't give a fuck because I, I had I had at that point already been clean and sober for years and like routinely fucking tested. You so knew you were clean. I, I, I had been tested for HIV so many times over and over. Right. And and uh, that's the thing about it is that. God, what? Is that fucked <laughs> up, dude? <laughs> Wait, hold on. That's an important detail. You didn't just snort blood. You have to include I snorted, I snorted the blood of blood. The, well, at the time, the reason why the blood was there was because the oh, guy's an intravenous drug user, and there's something about. Why the fuck you snort his blood? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I need to know that. Uh, do you have know I'll, I'll go back to watch this. I'm not telling you. You're going to have to watch your own podcast. I'm going to have to watch my own fucking video about it. Oh, my God. <laughs>